able to do to kind of come out here and prove it on that stage? Um, it's big for us. It's big for our team morale. Um, guys getting com it shows the guys are getting comfortable with each other. Um, you know, we, we got up big and we kind of you know, lost the lead, obviously, but I like how we how we have resiliency and uh, we fought back and kind of maintained, uh, made, made stops, big stops down the, down the stretch to get the win. How important has it been, you know, not that you can become complacent after one win, but just you don't celebrate it too much, you know, that this is a long series? Uh, we, I mean, we know, everybody in the locker room know we haven't done anything yet. Um, you know, a lot, game two is going to be a lot of adjustments um, on both ends. Uh, we, obviously, they're going to come out and be a lot more aggressive, um, you know, especially on the, on the offensive end, try to, you know, pick apart our defensive schemes. But for us, it's, it's about getting better, learning from what we can learn from game one. Um, obviously, offensive rebounding was a big part in that and, um, you know, making sure we don't let those two, two guards get hot. Game started getting tight like that to have a guy like Rondo to kind of you know, get everybody together and control those possessions the way he did. Um, I mean, he's been doing that all year. Uh, he's a veteran leader. Um, you know, he he gets us, you know, back composed when we kind of get out of shape. Obviously, you know, when they make runs, we come down and, and take quick shots, or um, you know, we don't we don't get the ball movement. And he's he's great at you know calming us down, getting us into something, whether it's pick and roll or or anything that that we need to. He's our floor general, so he's he's big for us in that in that sense. A lot of the, the chemistry and the camaraderie that you all have. You played on a championship team and saw what good chemistry is. Do you feel something special with this group from even ownership, coaching staff down to the locker room? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it, that's. I think it started, you know, when we, we made that had that ten game win streak. I think that we saw what we could do with each other, and you know, once guys start believing in that, um, I think everybody started buying in and guys started playing better in their roles, um, and we understood that we could we could do something special. A lot of people, you know, counted us out. And you know we're here now, um, trying to make some noise. I know this is your first year here, but what has it been like just kind of see AD kind of grow during the year as far as his vocal leadership and speaking up like he did last night, and then you know starting to tighten up before. Was he quiet before? <laughs> I mean, he wasn't known exactly as the you know the the, the loudest guy. Okay. Uh, well, like I guess I mean it's my. I think since I got here, he's been, you know, the vocal leader for us. I, obviously, I don't know how he was before. It's actually my first time meeting him when I got on the team, so. Uh, but he's been great for us, and we need him. Um, obviously, he's the he's the leader on the floor. Uh, we go to him, you know, when we need buckets. Obviously, but for him to be in a in the huddle, you know, talking, giving his his input, um, I think it's big for not just the guys on the floor, but guys on the bench too, to to hear that from somebody coming from him. You feel like Drew is a little bit underappreciated as far as guards in the West. Yes, a hundred percent, a one hundred percent. We talked about it all year. Um, the things that he does on both ends of the floor. Um, they can't be talked about enough, and you know we try to, you know, say as much as we can. Last night, you know, even in the Portland game, you know, back at home a couple of weeks ago, um, when he made two big defensive stops. But last night, man, it just shows that he's so valuable to our team, and he doesn't get enough credit. How much does it remind you of like Clay, as far as being like a two-way player like that, having played with Clay? Uh, they're, they're a little different. Um, I mean, having the, the same mentality to, to play both sides, I guess is the same as what you're trying to say, but um, Drew just does it in, in so many ways. Um, whether it's you want him to pick him up full court or you want him to guard you know, four man or get blocked shots, anything like that, you know, he's, he's willing to do. And to have a guy that that's to the things that he's done in his career and also to be so humble, uh, to, to sacrifice anything that he has to do to help the team win is big.